Well, history is coming full circle. A World War II-era tugboat created here in Central Florida will soon be brought home. The ST Tiger was supposed to be back into land by November, but the hurricanes postponed the trip. News 6's Molly Reed has an update on the work it's taking to get the boat back here and what those behind the project hope to see come from it. After some delays, the organization behind getting the Tiger back here to the land says it will officially be back on January 15th, but they say they also need to raise some more money and collect donations to get it set up once it is here. The boat's in Astor, Florida after coming 4,900 miles from Stockholm, Sweden. And soon Dan Friend with the DeLand Historic Trust says the ST Tiger will make its final leg of the journey home. It's like a completely unknown chapter of World War II history sailing home after 78 years. The Tiger was one of 29 of these tugboats built in a factory on Lake Beersford in DeLand for World War II. They made over 550 U.S. Army World War II ST tugboats for harbor use uh, all around the world in World War II. Friend started research on the tugboats decades ago, even creating a website about them. In early 2021, he got a call from a couple in Sweden. They had the Tiger and wanted to know if he wanted it. I found six boats around the world. Five of them had been completely rebuilt and butchered, and they were just basically the hulls. This one was intact. Friend and the Historic Trust collected almost $300,000 in donations to bring the Tiger back to the U.S. In July of this year, it traveled back to America from Sweden. Friend hoped it would be back in the land in November, but the hurricanes pushed that back. And we found a good location for it right across from Edstone Park. Over the water's deep enough and out of the way enough for us to leave her there for a little while. Friend says they're still talking with city leaders in different parts of Volusia County to find a permanent spot for it. But he says now that they've cleaned her up, they're going to need to raise even more money to turn her into the memorial. Extreme expenses involved. Uh, I, I think we have to raise at least another two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. Now, if you are interested in donating, I'm putting all that information up on our website, clickorlando.com. Just look for this story in Deland, Volusia County. I'm Molly Reed, getting results, News Six.